Now one of the big challenges for, uh, for myself and uh, uh, clients that fish here is trying to pick out big liners from genuine takes. Now the reason for the big liners is, uh, is the fact that we've got sturgeon and the sturgeon have a uh, basically it's a right hand a right angled peck it really is it sticks out quite a long way it's very very um, uh, acutely angled um, and uh, it picks up main line really really well um, the catfish have exactly the same um, uh, same peck and much larger as well and they'll swim through the line and you've got an absolutely belting run and you'll think you're in you hit it and you've got nothing, absolutely nothing. So the trick is, well, how do you know? How do you know? Was it a big liner? Have you just been done? Have they picked it up, run with it, dropped the bait? Well, I've figured out a little way that's going to tell me exactly what's gone on. So this is the standard bow slay rig, if you haven't seen this before. Um, check out one of the other videos where I talk specifically about it or, uh, or one of the blog articles as well on the website and um, so uh, I've got a huge amount of confidence in this rig I love the way it works it's caught me uh, absolutely uh, tons of fish and um, what I've wanted to do was modify it just slightly so it gives me an indication well it doesn't give me an indication it tells me exactly whether I've been done or whether I've uh, had a had a big liner. So what I've done, I'll just pull this out here as a tail. That is the tail from the five turn double grinner. Okay, so I've just left that long. Still see with my teeth marks in it. So I take that um, take that long tail. I push the silicon sleeve over it like that. Then, I take the inline lead that we've had the insert out of, I'll push that tail tail up inside the hole. If I get a big liner, the, uh, the fish is going to pull the main line from that end. That pulls the lead onto the swivel, keeping that tail trapped. So the leg gets dragged and I wind in and I'll find that that tail is exactly where I left it. So what happens if I've been done? Well as soon as we get a bit of tension on, the, on this end, a little bit of shake from Mr. Carp, that leads off. Okay, so obviously we know when we've caught a fish because we'll wind in and we'll uh, We'll have one. But what happens if he's got away with it? What happens if he's spat the hook? When you go to strike, the lead moves down and you'll wind in and you'll see that that tail is sticking out. You know you've been done for whatever reason. So this trip I've found that telltale really useful. Um, I've had some big liners and I know that they big big liners. I haven't worried about it, you know. It happens. You get wiped out. Right, now that the sun's come up just a little bit more, I've got a pretty little mirror to show you. So let's have a look at it. Well, there you go. I'll tell a lie really. She ain't so little, is she? 27 pound absolutely stunning really really beautiful look at the look at the colors of that fish in this morning light really I've worked really hard for this fish yeah. I tricked you well that's it for this session it's been tricky but I tricked a couple see you next time